What's going on? Uncle Hood, Cam Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes Unbox video for you. And today, I'm bringing you Tier 5 of the Brainy Kids All-Star Event. Footage courtesy of Anar. Right, thank you. Anar on Discord really hooked me up with this. And he used an interesting team. He's only using 4-star Clockwork, 4-star uh, Egon. He's got Gens at 4-stars. And then he's got Zane and Jay at seven stars. He also had a seven star uh, Kartofsky that he didn't use for this. So I thought that was an interesting choice, but I guess you kind of really need to run clockwork because that's really the only form of healing you have. Also, he used a uh, Jay's Cyber Dragon, which is a little higher than the one I was using last night in stream. And he takes a completely different approach than I took. Uh, and it works for him. Uh, a lot of it, I think it works for him because he has gens, and we're gonna see why when we really deep dive into this footage. So you saw last night, if you watched the stream, I was just getting Aurora out as quickly as I can. He does things a little differently. He's gonna first turn, go for the disarm on Princess Storm with Clockwork. You know, suck my clock, Princess Storm. And then he goes for the AOE with Zane, which really like, I didn't understand, like I wouldn't have done that. I would have just really focused down Aurora, but he didn't. He, he goes for the AOEs early to try to proc those, uh, the, you know, the machine gun on Jay. I guess it's better to use those AOEs before, um, what's his face? Jester Gogo is in a position to really just be healing everyone with his taunt. But he's, you know, if I look at this, I'm like, oh man, I'm in a really bad situation. But he's got Gogo to taunt and he's going right after Gogo. So he throws the throws the buff on Jay with uh, Egon, and he's just focusing on Gogo. Now, I guess with Gens, you could be a little more like, all right, I'm gonna just you know, save my ability that nullifies revive, and I'm gonna ignore, or I'm not gonna really focus down Aurora. I'm gonna get rid of of Gogo first, and I mean that really works if you're using Gens, uh, but if you're not using Gens, it, it's not something that's really gonna work. And obviously a lot of this is RNG based of like just who Jay decides to attack with his bonus attacks. Uh, but yeah, go, 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 go down. And then, you know, this was a big turning point. Uh, Burnabas is taunting and Aurora's pretty low. So I guess he figured, all right, it's time to pop that ultimate because we have to take Aurora out. And he does. He takes Aurora out and that threat is now gone. You don't have to worry about Jester Gogo -Go coming back. Uh, the debilitate and the clumsy are... You know, he get, gets them out there. I mean, I had that ability at uh, four out of five. He's got it at a five out of five, and it's just like it's procking way more debilitating clumsy than I was procking last night on the stream. And I mean, if you just look at his health, like th this team is much healthier. Still working with four star Egon, three four star figures. There's three four star figures on this team. So this is not like a super whale team, right? This is just a guy who happens to have gens. And, you know, off to a great start. I mean, Yeti didn't even get to go yet. So it's just like really well-timed. Like everything's just going perfectly. You know, Yeti's going to be going soon. I would have went after Yeti there. So I personally would have hit Yeti just to get the uh, debilitate to proc so he doesn't taunt. So he does have to deal with a little bit of this issue. But hey, you got it's like everything just goes his way. Zane's basic. He's going to put Dizzy on Yeti. You don't need to worry about him taunting, about him paybacking you anymore. And you could just smash, 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 smash with whatever you got. Basil heals though, but we're still in a pretty, he's still in a pretty good position here. Uh, and he's just really going to focus everything on Yeti, as, he's, as you should. But I mean, for me, it was like, all right, Yeti got payback. It's game over. Oh, and another thing, that's the big thing that Jens also brings is the passive block. So Gogo's passive does absolutely nothing as long as Jens puts that passive block on him and makes it a little easier to focus down Gogo, but it also makes it safer for you to use those AOEs and safer for Jay. So a lot of my frustration was coming from, oh, Jay, okay, Jay hit Gogo, game over. You know, this just screwed me over. But if you can get this passive block on Gogo, so I guess that's why he didn't go get the kill on Aurora early on because he wanted that early taunt on Gogo. 
then you have Jen's ultimate, which is just absolutely fantastic. And I mean, this is just, this is ripped. This is GG right here. Yeah, these just, now it's just a cleanup crew. So, I mean, there you go. If you, you don't need to wail, you just need to have Jen's. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today, knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle up.